god. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Sims 1 here with me, T Addict. How are you guys doing? We have just experienced a brand new fire being started on our lot. Uh, so, yep, that's good. I put fire alarms literally everywhere apart from outside of the house, apparently, and Bernie, the clever, naughty little dragon that he is, has figured out out. <laughs> Oh gosh, we're gonna have to put fire alarms all around the outside of our house too. Okay, good to know. Yes, Julia. Ah, panic, freak out. This is very scary. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're fantastic. Oh, our post is gone. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a great day. It is Friday here for me. I've just come home from work and yes, I knocked off early today because I am terrible. But it's Friday. You're like allowed. It's, it's legal to lock off early on a Friday, right? Yeah, okay, that's my excuse. But I was really, really keen to come home and play some more Sims. Uh, but thank you all so much for your love on the last episode. Thank you for your comments and feedback. I definitely have read them all and I went and I had replanted the flowers, which apparently Bernie wants to eat. Um, he is going to be very, very difficult. And you guys sort of uh, let me know that I got really unlucky that he, like, popped out of his egg before I had a chance to interact with him and we potentially could have actually gotten a really nice dragon um, instead of Bernie who would have been a lot less difficult to handle. So um, what my plan is, is I want to hang on to Bernie for a little while. Um, oh, we're losing friends too. Hey, um, Mm, we need to talk to all these people. Yeah, I want to hang on to Bernie for just a little while longer. I want to see if we can get a couple more dragon scales and dragon tears or whatever it is from him. Um, and then hopefully we'll be able to just like sort of make back the magic coins that I... No, Bernie. No, Bernie. <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to make back the magic coins that I spent to buy him and just buy a different baby dragon instead. Did you know Tim Letourneau, associate producer and Chris Bayana, assistant producer, Tim and Chris came on board to handle the localization of the Sims into many languages and to help with the development and testing of our free Sim show and home master tools. Both started in testing at, and customer support at EA. Chris is still the only Maxis employee with a handlebar moustache. <laughs> I like that it's Letourneau. That shows where that name comes from because you know how in The Sims 2 you got like Brandy Letourneau. Anyway, fun fact, though the catalogue text was written by Sean and the other text by Roxy, Tim had to adjust the language of the text as well as maintain the text database for the entire game. Wow. This help system you are reading now is added just two weeks before the deadline for localization and contains almost a third of the text in the game. Now maybe Tim will be able to go home at night, maybe. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, dear. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is see if we can just get a couple more resources off of Bernie. I think so far we've managed to collect a couple, but not many. Um, they would probably be in magic items. No, ingredients maybe. Yep, so I've got one lot of dragon scales so far. Um, and also I would I would ideally like to have some... Here we go, we got dragon tears as well. Um, yeah, I would ideally like to have some as well that I can kind of keep. So we might have to see if we can keep him for a little while longer um, and just see how we go. Um, I'm just going to give Spikey a little bit of a pat. He's a, such a good boy. We love him very much. Can't see what we're doing, so that's great. Um, but that's going to help our fun and our social, hopefully. Um, so we're just going to do a little bit of that. And then we should actually interact with Bernie a little bit as well. Um, I'm not sure if there's much point to interacting with Bernie after he's been born. Like, will will we make him into a better boy if all oh, the obsessed fan is in my house? Wait, can I not use this one? Wait, where's my where's my one that like turns him into? Oh, can I only cast that on myself? Ah, oh, lame. Um, go here, honey. Go here. But yeah, is there is there much point to my interacting with Bernie now that he's already been born? Like, can I make him better behaved or is that just not going to happen for me? <laughs> I want to know. Um, the other thing we're going to do is just play a little bit of video games and get our fun up a little bit. And then we need to go and see if we can harvest a little bit of beeswax from our bees down here. Because to get garlic for our next spell, we need um, to trade some beeswax with the vampire lady who actually sold us Bernie. So that is something that we're going to have to do. Yep. Eating all of the flowers. Okay. 
So we're just going to have to deal with that. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> no worries. Just going to triple speed for a second here while she just gets her needs up. Very good. All right, cool. Let's come downstairs and let's do a little bit of harvesting. Um, and hopefully, oh good, the mains actually clean this up. Oh, that reminds me. So apparently there is actually a good awards shelf. Is your semi award gathering dust in a dark corner of the house? Oh, so apparently we're meant to use this thing for the awards, but wait, really? Uh, guys, <laughs> can we not, can we not put the awards on that? If you're answered yes to these questions, then fret no longer as the Cabinet Noir will serve all your store award storage needs. So do they only put it on that maybe like if you bring it, like when you bring it home from Studio Town or something? Also, that was a really freaking expensive cabinet. I'm not thinking we can really afford that right now, but I'll keep that in mind. I will keep that in mind for the future. Like maybe we can um, use that in the future when we get some more rewards, we are going to have to go back down to studio town today and earn ourselves a little bit more money. See if we can run into some of our friends, have a chat with them, um, especially Angela, or we could definitely give her a call as well. Uh, but yeah, at some point in this episode, probably, probably on the next sim day, we'll have to go down to studio town. I just want to see if we can collect some beeswax now. Yes, we can. And then we're going to really quickly go down to magic town and see if we can trade for this garlic so we can get the next spell unlocked. Um, so I believe this place, there is a vampire lady. Here she is. So let's just, uh, not talk to, let's barter with her maybe. Let's see what she says. Hey, Bone Hilda. The original and best. I'm in need of wax from bees. I have plenty of garlic. Would you like to trade? Yes, please. Good. I don't like keeping all this garlic around anyways. Makes me a bit nervous, you know. Come back anytime. <laughs> sure, babe, we'll do. Okay, sweet. So, oh, mama's here. So maybe let's actually go and say hi to her while we're here. Let's go and shake hands. Hello, Bella. Bella Goth is down here as well. Um, And then, yeah, we could maybe just rekindle our friendship with mama a little bit. We're only just underneath being friends. But I have to remember that having uh, towny friends will help me not have to deal with the obsessed fan as much. Um, so, yeah, that's actually going to be really helpful. And then let's just maybe talk about magic since we're in Magic Town. Not sure if she's going to like that or not, but we'll give it a go. Looks like our relationship is going up pretty well. Congratulations, we made a new family friend. And I love how excited the game gets for you when you make a friend. <laughs> oh, no, she didn't like that. Okay, let's talk. just talk about our interests again and just talk about ourselves again. And then another friendly hug and then we'll go home. I'm sorry, are we boring you, mama? She's walking away from us. Rude. Rudeness. Actually, how is our mood? Oh, maybe let's perform a show while we're here. Why not? Why not? Our mood's okay. We can earn some magic coins. Probably worth it. Oh no, Kalos, get off the stage. Boo, get off the stage. I wanted to do that, jerk. Okay, yeah, boo, exactly. Um, let's see if we can do Spectral Spouses, the creepiest performance ever. And then apparently we have a fan who wants to talk to us as well. Nobody is watching us. Oh, Eldon is watching us. That's nice. Oh, no, he's walking away again. <laughs> Okay, well, 15 magic coins is 15 magic coins. So that's fine. So let's go ahead and head home before we completely tank on fun, energy, and food. Hunger. That's what that need is called. Off we go. Okay, brilliant. So we're home. What we're going to do is go ahead and just have a quick dinner. And then I will go ahead and see if we can get this spell done, which is very, very exciting. I'll have to just double check if we do it in this guy or this guy. I know Angela, somebody is no longer a family friend. I'm hoping I will be able to run into her down at Studio Town tomorrow. Also, why didn't I do this before? Let's put a fire alarm outside the house. <laughs> probably a good idea. Oh, and we should probably replace the column that we lost as well. That's the one. There we go. Okay. Just spending all of our money replacing things that Bernie has destroyed. Fantastic. 
<laughs> Such a little brat, honestly. Okay, we're getting really tired, but I think we've got time and energy, maybe, to go upstairs and do this. Maybe. The last time we did a magic skip spell, I'm pretty sure Julia passed out on the floor afterwards because it's not easy to get this stuff. It's really, really cool. Love the difficulty of this game. Okay, so we're on like page three, guys. So by the way, we're doing really well. Okay, so it's in this thingy. And yeah, so it's honey, garlic, and toad sweat. All right, cool. So let's uh, add honey. Are we go. Let's add garlic. I know, I know, honey. We'll be fine. We'll go to bed in just a second. The more you complain, the more your energy goes down. Just work with me here and then we'll be fine. Um, and then toad sweat. How exciting. Charge wand. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. The next spell, you guys. The next spell. <laughs> Bernie's like, hey, what you doing in there? You've discovered a new spell. Smiley face. Okay, let's look up the spell and see what it does. Julia. Work with me here. Frabdet. Also, I hope that my in-game audio is actually recording today. Hmm, I might double check that um, in a second because last episode or the episode before you didn't have any in-game sounds, which is really quite upsetting. And actually just looking at my OBS, it doesn't look like it is recording. So I might do that. Smiley face. Put a smile on your Sims faces or better yet, above their heads. The smiley face spell is designed to create the fer pheromonal. Fer oh, pheromones, right. Pheromonal effects normally generated when two Sims reach a point in their relationship that they would... Oh! We, we've got a spell to make ourselves instant friends. Nice. But be careful not to manipulate a manipulator or you may turn that frown back around. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Right, brilliant. So the next one we need beeswax, dragon scales, handy dandy. We got some of those and we need llama spit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm just going to make a note of that. So beeswax, um, scales in llama spit. No worries. Okay. Cool banana. So I'm just going to put Julia to bed and then, yeah, I'm just going to restart my game and hopefully we'll actually have in-game audio for you guys appearing here in a minute. Oh, geez, that scared the crap out of me. Claire the bear. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, that looks a lot better. I think we've actually got in-game volume now. Woohoo! That's really good. All right, so hopefully you guys can actually enjoy hearing what's going on in the game this episode. Yay! I'm not sure why it keeps... Oh my god, Bernie! Oh, this dragon. This dragon. Come on. No, maybe we should... Let, you know what? Let's just go ahead and just call the emergency services. Uh, Wait, can I not call the fire department? Can I not call the fire department? Why not? Oh, he's already here. Oh, so one of our alarms must have actually gone off and he came automatically. Is that right? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God for that. Bernie! Seriously, you're such a naughty little dragon. <sighs> All right, well, we've got a little energy now. Should we do something useful? Let's have a bit of fun before we go back to sleep. Yeah, let's go and play some chess. Our logic skill is actually pretty, pretty good. So that'll be, that's pretty nice to see. Oh my God. <sighs> the sound effects in this game. Hey, dragon, can you attack the, the raccoon for me? Because that would be pretty cool, not gonna lie. Oh, and looks like Spiky needs some more food as well. So we should do that. And then yeah, let's go back to bed and then I will see you guys in the morning. I believe in you, Spiky. You can win this time, buddy. You got it this time, buddy. I couldn't, I couldn't even see who won. The game went to up to triple speed. I'll have to review that in editing. Okay, let's go ahead and get Julia up for the day. It is 6 a.m. Rise and shine, sleeping beauty. Looks like Bernie's eaten through most of my flowers already. Has he given us any more resources? I'm aware that they could be kind of like lying around my lot 
anywhere because he likes to wonder. Oh, we've got a rose over here. Okay, let's just add that. Oh, we've got a few. Let's add those to the inventory. Um, I'm not seeing any. Okay, that's fine. Alright, cool. So what we're going to have to do today is head down to Studio Town and earn ourselves a little bit of money to see if we can run into Angela somebody and rekindle our friendship with her. It's lucky that the lots actually freeze while we're away in this game. Otherwise, I feel like we'd come home and the whole house would be burnt down. But, you know, that's just what you get when you've got a baby dragon as pet, I guess. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and call our cab to go down to Studio Town. I'm going to turn off that TV because it is also obnoxiously loud. Oh my god, Bernie! Not the hot tub! This time I can hear the alarm going off at least. And hello, we have a thing from about Sean Beatty, the assistant producer, chief of the Sim Watch. Sean also is in charge of the sound effects and catalog text in the game. It's amazing that Sean and Claire can still hear anymore after hours upon hours of listening to all the sounds in the game and verifying that they worked. Sean was also a lead tester at EA for three years um, before coming to Maxis. Leading the Sim Watch group also required Sean to come up with new weekly downloadables from our website, including a desktop theme, chatterbox, and the mini aquarium. Nice. Okay, well. Good, okay, cool. Thank you for getting here. We're just gonna leave you to it, Mr. Fireman. We're, we're basically gonna be best friends, Fire Fire Freddy. You're gonna be here a lot, so I hope you um, like us. <laughs> God damn. Ugh. Okay, oh, there's Linda. Is Raquel. Okay, let's go ahead and give Raquel an air kiss and say hello to her because she is one of our friends who I... Oh, no, we actually did end up speaking to her last time. Okay, that's fine. We don't know Linda at all, so we don't really care about her. All right, well, our relationship with Raquel is actually really good at the moment, so I'm just going to leave her to it. I'm going to grab a plate of food. I'm going to probably use the trailer to just freshen up, and then we're going to go ahead and... Oh, well, unless Sarah McLaughlin's busy in there. That's fine. Actually, that's enough food. Let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and earn ourselves a little bit of money if we can. Let's just do a couple of these. And then after that, we will see if we can do one of these over here as well. And I'm just going to keep an eye on my friend's panel to see if anyone who we need to speak to rocks up. Comedic, comedic, comedic. This is a hilarious inheritance scene. You love it, Tracy Vim. Nope, she hates it. Can you stop watching me, please, obsessed fan? Like, you're so creepy. This is a dramatic inheritance scene. Okay, we like the drama for the last one. So we're going to go suspenseful and dramatic. Perfection. Perfect! Hey, it's not the best. I don't care. Alright, let's come over here and do a fight scene because I like the fight scenes. They're really fun. And that's going to earn us a bunch of money. Hey, Debbie, are you going to do a fight scene with us? Looks like she is. Thank you, Game AI, for kicking in on time for once. That's brilliant. Okay, we've got Robert O Direction. Robert, how are you doing, friend? It's been so long since I saw you. Let's try some fury and some passion. No. 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 Okay, that was a bust. Passion and confidence. Yes. No. No, damn it! We failed! Oh my gosh, it's been... I've been, I've been getting so lucky with these. I've forgotten what it's like to... Um, yeah, we lost, a, we lost a level. Crap. Okay, can we still do these? Are we, are we still famous enough or not? Because we're not five stars. I can't even remember anymore. Hey, Debbie, where are you going? No, we need to do another scene. We need to get our star level back. Hello. Mitch, coming through for the team. Thank you very much. Okay, we can still do this. So this is fine. Injustice and rage. No. No. Oh my gosh, it is not my day with feeling this time. Got the first one. That's a no. And a no! Oh my goodness, crap! Oh, that's not good, you guys. That is not 
That is not good. Somebody get this hack off my set. Okay, Robert O Direction doesn't like us. Uh, okay, let's come over quickly and just do an emergency scene before Julia Hero passes out. Uh, there's no one here that we need to talk to, so that's fine. We will have to come and try again another time. Oh dear, that was terrible luck. Wow. And I was even hoping that we might get an award so I could, like, um, restock the ones that Bernie's burnt to a crisp. <laughs> That was a yes, that was a no, that was a no. Oh, kiddly dokily. Action! Oh, kiddly dokily. So we've got one, two, and three. <laughs> Ah, well, thank you very much. At least we earned 600 simoleons today. That's almost enough for one lot of our bills that we usually get. <laughs> I can't believe we failed at both of those. That was terrible, terrible luck. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we go back to the lame white car instead of our pink car. Oh, so annoying. But that's okay. Ah, <laughs> to you too, obsessed man. Okay. That. Oh, no! Oh no, the hot tub actually got destroyed. Are you kidding me? That thing is worth so much money. Oh, today is not a good day. Like, right now we really could have used a soak in the hot tub. Bernie, I'm going to have to get rid of you, buddy. You are just not doing okay. Because if, if the firefighter can't beat the fire, like, even if we've got fire alarms everywhere, like, that's just not, that's just not okay. That's just not gonna, not gonna fly. Okay. I'll just give him a pat and a tickle and a groom and see if that will give me a couple more of his resources. Because I'd like to at least have, like, two of everything before I get rid of him. Because I have a feeling we're going to need more of it. Um, so let's come upstairs and do that. You're such a naughty boy. Oh my gosh, please be money. Let's go and answer the phone. <laughs> no, we're just getting another notification about not being friends with Mama Hick anymore. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's okay. He's eating up like the last of my flowers, so that's great. All of our flowers are now gone. Uh... Okay, I don't know where he on. He's still out the front, so that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of a couple more of Julie Hero's needs. Oh gosh, the phone again. Hello? Hello? He's dreaming about the dragon. Little Spiky. I know Spiky. Life was a lot... Okay, cool. Life was a lot simpler before we had Spike. I agree. And I'm really thinking that it might be time to say goodbye to him soon because we can't afford to be replacing our hot tubs. This is just a day. He's a menace. He is a menace. Like, I'll have to remember next time I buy a dragon to buy him and then come straight home so my mood is still good enough that I can interact with his crib a bit before... Yeah, before he, get, he, he gives birth. Not gives birth. Before he breaks out of his shell. And then we'll get a better dragon. Oh! Yep, okay, that's it. Bernie, you're out, buddy. You are so out. I can't, I can't deal with you. We're gonna go and set him free. I'm sorry, Bernie. Oh, but look at him playing with his little chew toy. Let's just give him another groom. Give me, give me some more dragon scales, you little poop. Okay, whatever. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Where is my spiky boy? He's over here being an awesome little doggy. Okay, can we... Let's, um, let's come downstairs and then let's call over Spike and give him a little bit of a cuddle before we go to sleep. Because he's adorable and we love him and he doesn't set things on fire. I know, Julia. Let's go and turn off the TV. 
Okay, let's uh, praise him for coming. Good boy. And then let's give him a little pat. Yeah, you're a good boy. And that sound, by the way, is um the dragon playing with its chew toy. Okay, let's go to sleep before we pass out. Our fun meter is so, so, so low at the moment. So just out of curiosity, how much was that hot tub worth? Six and a half thousand simoleons. Ooh, that's not cricket. Yeah, no, we're going to have to. We, we're going to have to. He's got to go. I can't be losing all of my stuff. Stop lighting things on fire. We even paid you attention today. Go, Fireman. Go. Fireman Freddy. Save my stuff. Stop it. Yes, I want to release my dragon. There is no helping this child. Come here. Julia. We need to set the dragon free. Yes. Off you go. Get the hell out of my house. Okay, cool. So she, man she managed to save the... Okay, Freddy is a hero. He managed to save our computer and our stereo and our table. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed that that didn't work out. I really wanted to have a pet dragon. Also, is there any kind of like um, consequence for just setting a dragon free into the wild? <laughs> like, I feel like that wouldn't necessarily be the best thing for Greater Sim City. Uh, but that's, you know, whatever. That's fine. Okay, let's go ahead. I, I know, I know you need to have a lot of fun. Let's watch some TV. It's going to be fine. Whew. Okay, we've got another Did You Know. Paul Wilkinson, programmer. Paul is responsible for the sound system. Sim Sims say different things depending on their age, sex, mood, and skill. That is all Paul. You may have heard his work in a little game called SimCity 3000. Nice. That was a great game. Paul started at Distinctive Software before it became EA Can Canada. I almost said Canada. <laughs> Even though he is Canadian, we still enjoy working with him. <laughs> Paul ends his email with no peace out. Nice. Okay, so our fun has gone back up a little. Let's go ahead and use this. And then let's... Oh my gosh, taking care of her needs has just been so difficult with this baby dragon. Because, like, we've just been having to constantly put out fires. And, and it's been very stressful. I'm not okay. And we didn't make any money at Studio Town yesterday. And we've got bills. And oh my god, this game is hard. Okay, but this is this is fun. You know what we need to do? We need to get together another Reign of Riches spell. And just like go ahead, go down to Studio Town and like make these people my friends again. Oh, Jessica's still not our friend. Well, that sucks. Okay, let's go ahead and have lunch. And then, yeah, I'm going to head back to Studio Town and try again. <laughs> try again at making a little bit of money. Because we kind of really need some. Because we need to replace our hot tub. Oh, we're getting a new Simi Award. Oh, my gosh. this made... How did you know I needed this game? How did you know? Thank you so much. Oh. Yay. Even though we dropped back to four and a half stars, we still got a Simi Award. Thank you so much, Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm going to cry. Also, can we go back to cooking our lunch now? There we go. Okay. Let's eat. Very good. And then let's go to Studio Town. How did you make Rain of Riches again? We needed like diamond dust. And a couple other rarities. Because I wouldn't mind just casting that again. But I also wouldn't mind getting back to five stars. Hmm. What a quandary. Also, I've left the TV on again and it's so loud. <laughs> okay, well, that's that's fine. It's gonna be it's gonna be a thing. Okay, here we go. Let's come back over here. Hopefully we can run into Jessica today. I really don't like that we're not friends at the moment, because she is one of our oldest friends. Um doesn't look like she's here. Oh, Lee. Lee is our friend. Right. Um, let's go ahead and do a star kiss with Lee then. We need a little bit of social. So this will be good. But our fun and our energy are both quite low as well. So I don't want to waste too much time um, just talking to people. Because we need to just try to make a little bit, bit of money and get out of here. Okay. Who else is over here? I can't tell. Um, can we just give her a friendly hug as well, please? Uh, Sarah McLaughlin. Okay, cool. All right, that's helped our social a bit. Can we... Um, 
let's just talk once more and then that might do for our social. And then, yeah, I want to come over here. We've got Greta Glan today, so hopefully she likes us more than Robert O'Direction did the other day. And hopefully Lee's actually coming over to act with us. That'd be nice. Looks like she is. Fantastic. Oh, our relationship is 90. That's really good. All right, Gleta, Gleta, Greta, please love us. That's a solid nope. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm not having a lucky day. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, thank God we got two out of three. Oh, we passed. Thank the Lord for that. Okay, are we back to... No, we're not back to five stars yet. All right, we're still okay. So I would like to try to do one more scene. <sighs> okay, can we act out a death scene, please? I know, Julia, I know that you're going through a rough episode, but I promise we're going to be okay. We've got Debbie and Lee both coming over. Looks like Lee is going to be acting with us again. What, are you, what were you doing? I don't even know what that was. Okay. Let's go... Injustice, injustice, apathy. <laughs> Let's just go rage for all three. Nah, oh god, oh, I've just got to stop. I've just got to stop trying to do these. I am doing so terribly. Oh, jeez. Let's go and play in the fountain. I've never actually... I didn't even know that was a thing we could do. Uh, hello? 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 Is the Obsessed fan, like, in our way somehow? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go home. Life is tough in The Sims 1. Okay, well, we've barely been to Magic Town this episode, so I feel like before I end the episode... We're going to... Oh, is that Alicia? Do we need to talk to Alicia? Yes, please. Oh, no, we need to talk to Angela. Right. Um, but, yeah, no, I feel like we need to go down to Magic Town one more time um, this episode and see if we can get a hold of some Llama Spit, which we need for our next magic spell. Uh, are we in the car? I hope we are. That's right. And we can just force some people to be our friends too, um, which would be really handy. Pfft, look at our mood. Oh my god. Okay, let's turn off the TV and have a nap. Turn off the TV. Peace and quiet. Mama Hick is no longer a family friend. You know what? Right now, I don't care. <sighs> let's all take some deep, calming breaths together. Have a gorgeous nap. Refresh ourselves with a beautiful shower. I know, I know. Gunther Goth is just walking across our lot, but that's fine too. All right, we are now going to turn a new corner for this episode and do something that is actually going to be helpful for Julia Hero's path to fame, glory, and riches. Maybe. What we're going to do is eat a quick meal. A very quick meal. And then we are going to give Spikey a little bit of love because he's just a gorgeous boy if I can actually get this camera at an angle where I can interact with him there we go okay come on come on love for spiky Julia love for spiky yeah good boy good boy good boy good boy good boy good boy this is gonna get our social need up a bit hopefully our fun need a little bit as well or it's not that's fine too and then now we're going to go down to Magic Town and we're going to go and ride a roller coaster and just forget about all of our problems. What else do we need again? I forget. Llama Spit. I think we can get that from Apothecary Todd. I think. Hopefully it's not too expensive. Okay, let's go ahead and spend 20 of our precious simoleons to ride this roller coaster. Llama Spit. Brilliant. So then I think we also needed beeswax and dragon scales, both of which we've got because we've got dragon scales. Well, we don't actually technically have beeswax at the moment, but we can get it easily from our bees at home. So I'm going to do that and that's going to be fantastic. Okay. Yes. Hello, Bonehilda, just walking around being such an icon. 
Why do I just know that The Sims 4 Bone Hilda is going to be crap? Like, anyway, let's not talk about that that game. We don't talk about that game here. Um, okay, so we got our stuff. Um, brilliant. Can we barter with you? Do we have anything that you might want, buddy? Let's have a look. Uh, no, actually. I think we've got another rubber chicken. An another rubber... Yeah, I think we do, actually, don't we? Um, let me see. Yeah, we've got a rubber chicken, so that's fine. Cool. All right, so now all we need is a little bit of beeswax, and then we will be able to make the next spell, so that is very exciting. Wait, before we do that, should we just ride the roller coaster again? Let's ride, let's ride the roller coaster again. Woohoo! Yee-hoo! Sims 1 roller coasters are the best fun thing ever. Ooh, we can make a wish. Let's go and make a wish. I feel like we could use a little bit of magic in, la in our lives, which is ironic considering we're like literally a magician. But you know what I mean? Like I feel like we could use a little bit of, um, I don't know what we wish for. Okay, cool. I feel like we could use a little bit of luck, I guess is what I'm saying. Yes. Okay, so let's go home. Our fun is looking much better. Or should we make a friend while we're here? No, because I think it's dangerous to cast that spell on other magic users because then they could, um, and they could, like, it could backfire or something. I think I read that right. All right, cool. So now our social is a bit low and our energy is a bit low. Let's go to sleep. Let's have a nice rest. And I'm going to call this an episode here. I'm sorry for the mess that was this episode. You know, absolute chaos from start to finish. But... That is kind of just what you get What sometimes when you play The Sims 1 and just everything goes wrong and nothing goes right and it's just a great time anyway. Yeah! <laughs> but no, in the next episode, I will definitely grab ourselves a little bit of beeswax and we will create the next magical item and see what that is. And then I would, yeah, I would actually like to put together another Reign of Riches spell at some point soon so we can furnish our house a little better, buy our hot tub back and just kind of do all those sorts of things. Another thing I want to try to do again soon is um actually try throwing a party again if you guys remember we threw a party way back in like episode 13 or something and it went terribly but we've got a lot more space in this house we've got a room a second room here that I can turn into a bathroom plus I could buy porta potties which I didn't realize in the last um the last time I threw a, a party so yeah, I'm thinking that could be really fun to try again in the future. Um, we could make ourselves a couple more friends that way. So yeah, we might go ahead and do that very soon. And then um, we will also definitely be getting another dragon at some point because it was amazing. It was just also... A big pain in the butt because we got Bernie. So, yeah, if you did enjoy this chaos of an episode, hit the like button underneath this video. Hit subscribe if you're not so you can catch the next episode. And, of course, the notification bell so you know when it comes out. I've got another pop-up here about Roxy who did some build mode stuff. Good job, Roxy. But, uh, anyway, for now, guys, I'm going to call it here. So, thank you for watching. Take care. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.